Making diamonds in laboratories has long been known as a complicated process requiring high pressure and temperature. However, a team of researchers in South Korea has developed a new system to make these syntheses possible at ambient pressure. Our Song Yujin has the story. Diamonds are not only highly valued for their rarity and sparkle, but they are also popular in the science world for being able to conduct heat better than copper. But making these diamonds artificially requires high pressure in the gigapascal pressure range and high temperatures ranging between 1,300 to 1,600 degrees Celsius, which also means a lot of electricity is needed. However, a team of researchers at the Institute for Basic Science has developed a new method to grow synthetic diamonds more easily. They successfully grew diamonds using a liquid metal alloy composed of gallium, iron, nickel, and silicon. Ten minutes under conditions of one atmosphere pressure and at 1,025 degrees Celsius, carbon atoms appear, starting the nucleation of diamonds. After nucleation, the growth of diamond particles occurs very rapidly. And after 150 minutes, a diamond film develops 5 millimeters in length and width and roughly 100 micrometers in thickness. The purity of the synthesized diamond film has been confirmed using transmission electron microscopy and two-dimensional X-ray diffraction measurements. The research team said they were not able to make diamonds larger in size but expect it to be possible with additional research and equipment. You don't need expensive pieces of equipment to try these syntheses. So virtually any laboratory in the world can try to work with these liquid metals and see if they can get carbon to dissolve inside them and so on. The research team said silicon vacancy color centers were found in the diamonds. But thanks to this discovery, new applications may be found in magnetic sensing and quantum computing. The results of this latest study were published in the online edition of the international academic journal, Nature. Song Yujin, Arirang News.